Hey everybody, hope that you're doing well. A little bit of slow timing there, huh? Hey, I uh, hope you're having a great day. We are looking at the book of Acts and we are moving into Acts chapter 8. We've looked at 7, the story of Stephen and his stoning. And in chapter 8, it begins with the story about Saul, who would ultimately become Paul, on how he was still persecuting the church. And Saul, it says, and Saul approved of the execution. And there arose on that day a great persecution against the church in Jerusalem. They were all scattered through the regions. And uh, in verse 3, but Saul was ravaging the church and entering house after house. He dragged off men and women and committed them to prison. But then we read about Philip, and the rest of chapter 8 is about Philip. And uh, it says, beginning in verse 4, now those who were scattered went about preaching the word. Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed to them the Christ. And the crowds with one accord paid attention with what was being said by Philip. And they heard him and saw the signs that he did. For unclean spirits crying out with a loud voice came out of many who had them, and many who were paralyzed or lame were healed. So there was much joy in the city. And it's just amazing when I think about the early church, about their commitment and their passion to preach the word. We just see Stephen being stoned to death. We see Saul and others who are ravaging the early church, grabbing people, taking them out of their homes, putting them in prison, or having people killed. And yet, they went out and they preached the word. Philip goes to Samaria and he preaches the word and uh, people are being healed. And then there's the story of Simon that takes uh, a large chunk of chapter 8. And then there's the story of Philip and the Ethiopian eunuch who ultimately becomes a believer in Jesus. And so we, we see the story of the church even being persecuted yet growing. And I just wonder for us today in our world, I know the church is under a different kind of persecution than we've had in, in a long time. And yet if we were being put in prison, if we were being killed, would we still be preaching Christ? Or would we just kind of hide away? I, I so appreciate the power of the early church for them to proclaim Jesus and proclaim his glory and do it whether it was life or death. How about you? How about me? What will we do when it comes to that crunch time? Will we proclaim Jesus? Have a great day, and God bless you.